Okay, so this is how I uh, check for parallelism of my rails. And I know these ones are not. I've already done it on the X and the Y axis on both axes or both planes of uh, parallelism. So by that I mean this top surface being parallel with this top surface as well as you know the the side edge to this side edge um, as far as parallelism goes and so here's I know it's gonna be off but it goes up to fifty thousandths or so based on the range that I can do I could take the carriage block off but I don't want to so forty five thousandths I guess but you know so now I'm going to shim it and uh, I unbolt the rails, shim it uh, behind it, raise it uh, wherever I need to in order to uh, get this uh, datum parallel with that one. Then I'm going to move on as you know as best I can and then do um, the parallelism of these two so that way they're not like towing in or on on one side. So. There'll be a lot of unbolting and, and doing that. I can uh, easily access the bolts because they go behind. I probably should use washers. Oh, I am using washers. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so that's the plan. Okay, so I just shimmed the rails and I also tried to get them parallel in both this uh, direction with the shimming and tweaking it, you know, the toe in and whatnot between the two rails. This one was the master. Um, so this is the rail that I adjusted and here I'm just going to show you how it came out so far I think I'm just going to leave it as is I got to about uh, four thousandths over that distance so that's a significant improvement from forty five thousandths so uh, just keep moving on okay just to go over this um, I used the calipers to measure the block separation here and at the bottom and that uh, gave me a difference of about uh, five thousandths of an inch and when I was also doing the other plane uh, is like this datum so like the parallelism of this surface to this surface it was about five thousandths and you can see that here Any higher because there's a box in the way, and I think that I need a, I might need to put another shim here. You can see the shims that I use is cardboard shims. I'm going to cut them off on the edges here with a knife once I'm done. But I think I need to put a five or ten thousand spacer in here because there's this spacer is uh, roughly thirty thousands. So I need to keep it because there's flexing right here and all the way to the top. But uh, that should do it. It's pretty darn close. Okay, so I shimmed a piece of cardboard there in order to uh, help make this more parallel, or uh, let's see, level to the rest of the machine. Let's see, I've got a magnetic level here. Um, you can see it's pretty close. Uh, let's see, and then I've got this guy. comes out pretty nice as well. Um, it's maybe a third or half a degree off. Uh, at least for starting out first machine I'm, I'm gonna accept that because changing it I don't know how I can do it any further. So I'd maybe some shim here a little bit and uh, rechange these supports.